Hello, and thank you for checking out my virtual presentation of our work entitled Pistol Lens Identifies Distinct Patterns of Podocyte Injury in HIV Transgenic Mice. This is a collaborative effort between our lab at the University of Buffalo and translational researchers at NIDDK and Johns Hopkins. The field of computational histology has experienced a significant surge in recent years with the growing availability of computational resources and large online data sets. By employing machine learning and other data-hungry methods, researchers seek to automate routine diagnostic procedures as well as uncover previously unknown markers of disease progression. This is especially important in the analysis of whole slide images, or WSIs, due to their extreme size compared to more general image classification and segmentation data sets. The almost gigapixel dimensions of some WSIs makes the exhaustive search for etiologic features highly time-consuming. One of the first major challenges in the incorporation of computational methods in a clinical setting is the lack of accessibility of most high-powered algorithms to clinicians. This includes any method that requires use of the, of the command line interface, adjusting source code to fit local setups or data locations, or setting up containerization methods like Docker, etc. The second major challenge in the use of computational algorithms is the interpretability gap between advanced models and clinical experts. In this case, the latent features extracted by some methods, such as convolutional neural networks, are difficult to translate into existing pathological frameworks. What pathologists are really interested in for each case is why a given algorithm predicted what it predicted in order to, to trust its decisions. To account for these existing challenges, we designed a standalone desktop software for quantitative analysis of histological structures using MATLAB. The input files for this graphical user interface, or GUI, are full slide images and their corresponding annotation files. These are generated automatically when making annotations in platforms such as Aperio Image Scope. Histolens then goes through and calculates a large set of quantitative image features describing the morphology, color, texture, and relative distribution of each annotated object, followed by a feature ranking method using chi-square, uh, maximum relevance, minimum redundancy, or relief F. The features extracted in histolens are calculated for specific biologically relevant subcompartments in each annotated structure. In this current version of histolens, we support feature extraction of periodic acid shift or PAS positive structures, luminal spaces, and nuclei. Quantitative hand engineered features for each of these subcompartments are much easier to understand compared to latent features because they describe consistent and visual image characteristics. One of the primary differentiating features of Histolens compared to other whole slide image analytical software packages is the direct linkage between image features and the image itself. In this example, a user is able to select a similar range of glomerular areas within which to compare wild type and HIV associated nephropathy or TG26 glomeruli side by side. In another case, users can select multiple features of interest and view a scatter plot of principal component scores in order to ascertain clustering of certain samples. To assess the gradient in qualitative image characteristics across this range, a line ROI is drawn and images are pulled off the scatter plot at equidistant points. Using histolens, we were able to isolate several quantitative markers of podocyte injury that occur in HIV transgenic or TG26 mice. These include several measures of podocyte distance transform. These features indicated that wild type mice consistently have thicker, more uniformly shaped podocytes compared to the TG26 podocytes, which take on a fractured appearance overall at higher levels of progression. Additionally, we also found the heterogeneity of color values in podocytes to be distinctive between wild type and TG26 mice. The larger range in standard deviation of podocyte red, green, and blue values could be attributed to an increase in transcriptional activity in these podocytes in response to inflammatory stress.
In addition to flexible labeling of the main feature distribution plot in the main window of Histlens, we have also included several other analytical tools which can serve as either a one-stop shop analysis Hisalens is a standalone desktop application or generate for Windows and or Mac users for input into that combines other analysis. several previously coding-intensive image anal analysis steps into a unified GUI workflow. It allows users to dynamically view histological image features across an entire data set and share their pre-processing steps with collaborators to increase data visibility and quality control. In our work, we focus on the analysis of glomeruli and renal biopsies. However, these methods are easily extensible to other annotated structures in whole slide images. Thank you all for watching this presentation. Feel free to check out the project on GitHub under Sarder Lab. And if you have any questions or feature requests, do not hesitate to reach out to me.